your problem, Kurobara? You don't like croissants? Stupid name, but they taste good. I hit myself. <laughs> Oh, that hurts. Well, hi everyone, my name is Leo and it's Monday, June 11th. It's been a long time since I put out any video and a lot has changed over the past year. I'm now heading into my third year in my PsyD or DOC program, which is pretty exciting. I'm starting my offsite in the fall, so I'll be working at two universities, St. Mary's and St. Edward's in Austin. Working at the University Counseling Center uh, and seeing college students on campus. I've also started my own prior practice and I got engaged. Uh, I'll put some pictures of maybe maybe here or um, somewhere here. Uh, but yeah, a lot has happened and I'll cover everything in some future videos. But today I want to talk about the main difference between getting your master's versus getting your doctorate rather than being a PhD or a PsyD. Now I get a lot of comments from you asking how I afford school and what steps I took to get to my master's or my masters my PsyD program and I've already made a video about my journey and the steps I took to get into my PsyD program and I'll put a link to that video um, in the description box down below but I've been asked you know what's better to get a master's degree or a doctorate's degree if your main goal is to become a therapist and I can see how some might think getting your doctorates might sound like a better option but you'll be surprised on how much you can already do with your masters so enough to chat let's get into it So let's just get income out of the way really quick. So from my experience, licensed psychologists or those that have doctorate degrees tend to charge more per hour than those that are master level clinicians in private practice. Now you might be thinking, okay, so psychologists then earn more, but we have to take into consideration school and tuition costs. So on average, master degrees, at least here in Texas, take up two years while doctorate programs usually take up to four to five years. So not only do you have to pay for tuition longer if you're going for your doctorate degree, but you also are losing out on experience um, and income that you can be making if you would have graduated two to three years earlier. Now everyone's financial situation is different, but the amount of schooling that you have to go through and the experience and income that you're losing out on is something definitely to keep in mind uh, if you're thinking about continuing your education. Another thing I like to tell people that ask me if they should go for their doctorates is to ask yourself, what can I do with my master's that you could do with your doctorates? And this is a good question to think about because chances are you could already do what you wanna do with your master's without having to spend an extra five years or more of schooling, as long as you are getting your master's from an accredited program. Uh, you can, you know, practice as a professional counselor, as a marriage and family therapist. You can start your own private practice, work at a nonprofit organization or other agencies. And there are plenty of trainings out there that can help you specialize in almost anything that you can think of. So, so far it kind of sounds like I'm against getting your doctorates, but there are many different reasons uh, why you might want to get your doctorates. So I think the biggest reason why I've heard to get your doctorates is to gain experience with assessment and testing. So typically uh, counseling types of master programs don't really put a lot of emphasis on assessment unless you came from like school psych or similar programs that teach you how to do uh, or administer your assessment. But when you enter a doc program, assessment is a big part of your degree plan and you gain a lot of experience in learning how to administer, uh, interpret scores, write reports, uh, and deliver feedback to the client. Now, another reason why someone might wanna get their doctorates is for research. Now, I come from a PsyD program, so there's not that much emphasis on research compared to like, let's say a PhD program, but we're still required to conduct research and also write a dissertation. So if research and trying to push the field of psychology field forward is important to you, um, then a doc program might be a good fit for you. You also get a chance to sharpen your tools that you've already been developing over the years to become more well, more well-rounded. It's hard for me to say, <laughs> but you become more well-rounded as a clinician when you're in a doc program. And lastly, I think if you love to learn and are genuinely curious and enjoy making connections with people, then I would say continuing your education might be a good fit or a good, that might be a good path for you to consider. Well, that's it y'all. And thank y'all so much for watching today's video. And if y'all learned something or just enjoyed watching, then please leave a like. And if y'all haven't already, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Uh, but hopefully in the future, I can continue to carve out some time to uh, continue making videos like this for y'all. 
But until then, be kind to yourself, you owe it to yourself, and have a wonderful day. Bye.